Hi again everyone, this tutorial is about calibrating your Poloscope on your Skywatcher HEQ5 mount. Obviously you know that your Poloscope is used in polar alignment and uh, that's essentially a process where you're lining up this right ascension axis of your mount so that it's pointing directly at the North Celestial Pole if you're in the Northern Hemisphere or at the South Celestial Pole if you're in the South Southern Hemisphere. And that's done with the aid of the Poloscope and when we look through the polar scope and see this graticule, uh, obviously this picture is taken in the daytime, but at night time uh, in the northern hemisphere you just see the bright star of Polaris and you try very hard with your azimuth and altitude screws to position Polaris in the right place on these graticules for your location, date and time uh, in order to position the north celestial pole at this crosshair in the centre of the rings. And that uh, is only then a good polar alignment if the crosshair on your graticule is actually lined up with the right ascension axis of your mount. And it can be a surprising amount off. When I got my mount, it was quite a bit off and I needed to adjust it. So the polar scope looks like this when it's unscrewed from the mount, but you don't need to unscrew it from your mount to do the calibration or to check if your polar scope needs calibrating. But I've taken mine apart. So I'm going to start the video by showing you uh, what's inside your polar scope uh, so you can understand the adjustment process a little better before we do it. Then I'll show you how to actually check the alignment and how to correct it if it's not right. So this is what the polar scope looks like. I'm just going to remove the eyepiece from this so that we can have a look inside and see what's happening in there. So inside there is a graticule which is a metal ring holding a glass graticule with the markings on it. And the graticule is held in with three grub screws 120 degrees apart on the outside of the scope. And this is what the graticule looks like when it's removed. You have to be very careful when you're handling this. The grub screws press against the side of the metal ring to hold the graticule in place. So to check your poloscope calibration take off your poloscope covers at either end and adjust your altitude screws uh, all the way to try and make your poloscope look roughly horizontally and this is because you need to point your poloscope at a terrestrial object something like a distant rooftop of a house for example preferably not trees that move around in the wind but point it out a window at something in the distance it doesn't need to be too far away actually but uh, something that is definitely stationary is not going to move. And have a look through and see if you can see that object. Now if you can't get low enough uh, with the altitude screws you can drop a leg as I'm doing here of the tripod to get it pointing low enough. So now here's the view through the graticule and you can see the corner of somebody's roof. Note that the image is inverted and I'm adjusting the altitude and azimuth bolts to get the crosshair right on the corner of that roof and then locking them off. So now we unlock the RA clutch and rotate the RA 180 degrees forwards and backwards and watch what happens to the crosshair position relative to the corner of the house and you can see it's shifting quite a lot and that's because I've actually deliberately made my polar scope calibration bad. So to adjust your calibration you need to loosen one grub screw or two grub screws slightly, maybe half a turn and then tighten another one. You can either loosen one and tighten two or loosen two and tighten one depending on the direction you're trying to move the graticule. But do not loosen any of the grub screws more than about half a turn otherwise you risk the graticule actually falling out. And the correction you're looking to make is half of the shift that you see when you make that 180 degree rotation of the RA. So try and adjust the crosshair to be half the way back to where it was when it's when before you did the rotation, and uh, and then if you manage that, then that will be correct. You won't get it exactly right. And you'll have to keep making small adjustments until you're completely happy. You see here, I'm uh, making little adjustments to the graphical position, and then test testing again to see uh, wh whether I'm closer or further away. It's very easy to make the, the correction in the wrong direction but that just teaches you which way you need to go to get it right. Uh, but I'm now here getting quite close to being in a good place so I'm just repositioning it with the out-as bolts 
back onto the corner of the house and testing again. And now we've got a really nice, good polar scope calibration. And that's all there is to it. Hope you found this useful. If you did, please like and please subscribe and help keep this channel going. Bye everyone.